hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so we have here a brand new epson l1 21 so we're gonna unbox this one and i'm gonna show to you how to uh, properly initialize the uh, brand new printer so let's open the box Okay. So guys you need to check all the components inside if you purchase this one in any store especially if you're purchasing online okay Okay. So what are the important uh, components? First one, of course, the unit. And the second one is the power cord here. Next one is the USB cable. Check the USB cable. here USB cable then also the uh, CD driver okay you still have an optical disc on your laptop or your PC so you can use this one otherwise you can download the um, installer on Epson website another one is the paper guide here so it should be paired with this one okay and also the four bottles of ink the black yellow so we have here cyan and lastly we have the magenta so again let's check all these uh, components so that whenever we install or initialize a printer, it's all complete. Okay. So let's remove this one. For a while. So what I did, I just removed the uh, plastic and the styro on the side. So you can do it now. Now, let's remove the tapes first here. Let's remove this one. And this one here. Okay. So there's another one. Tape. Okay. So be sure to uh, remove all the tapes before you initialize the printer. Before you turn on the printer, especially. Okay, so. What I will do is, I will um, turn on the printer first. Why? Because I want to be sure if the unit is okay now. The unit is good. So let's try to plug. 
okay so okay now as you can see the unit is okay upon power up All right so next I will be preparing the ink bottles so we're gonna put this ink according to its color here in the tank so we'll uh, put first the cyan So just remove the plastic and then there is also a cover inside here so you need to get that one okay so all these four bottles it has a silver cover so before you um, fill the tanks, always remember no, to remove this uh, silver uh, cover. Okay? So I think filling the tanks is very easy now. So in filling the tanks, be sure not to interchange the color. Huh? So if it's for cyan, then put cyan. If it's for magenta, put magenta. So you cannot interchange that because if you do that, it will be a big problem. Okay? So it's just easy to fill. Just have to um, put every color. Pinch. By the way, the tank is, I mean, can handle 40 ml. Okay. All right. So, after filling the cyan, close it, okay, and then open the next color. Then close, fill the next color which is yellow.
then close the tank and open for the last one which is the block so as you can see it's easy to fill the tanks just a uh, caution when you fill the tanks do not interchange avoid I mean interchanging colors one way to avoid uh, interchanging the colors is fill you know one at a time then after filling the other close the tank and then uh, move to the next color again okay now we're done filling the tanks now we will be initializing the printer the purpose of initialization is so that the inks from the tank will fill the printed print head here so it will go through the tubes and will fill the um printer head okay to do that just uh, click this one okay hold it All right if it blinks it means you can remove you can release and then it is um, starting to initialize the ink so What we are going to do is just uh, we're going to wait for approximately 20 minutes so since it's initializing uh, let's wait for you know after 20 minutes right so now the initialize process is already finished let's try to test print this printer so let's turn off the printer put some uh, one paper here so we'll be doing the self test print of this printer you just have to press this one simultaneously like three seconds one two three release okay. let's check okay so let's see the output the nozzle print so right so all colors are present black cyan magenta and yellow and as you can see you can also check here the number of pages or color pages um, black and white pages blank pages so, and the total pages you can also see here the serial number okay that's the serial number of your printer so that's it now so that's how we initialize a newly purchased printer so thank you so much for watching this video so if you are still not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe like and share this video so that so that we can help other uh, end users out there so thank you so much and see you on my next video bye, -bye.